Hello, my beautiful badges. Messy code pack again with another assets to review. This time it is the Low Poly Medieval Bundle Pack from Polytope Studios over on the Unity Asset Store. This bundle pack comes with medieval soldiers, the medieval weapons, medieval tools and props, medieval modular armors, and medieval modular peasants and citizens that normally would set you back $185 in the bundle. It is actually down to just $129.50 and if it's on a sale 50% off then you're getting over $120 saving that's right you're saving $120 to get this pack in a sale so sit back and join I'll see you all in a second we are playing about with Polytope Studios low poly medieval bundle actually you don't even need to just get the bundle because the single packs also available on a 50 percent sale over on the unity asset store but it's insane because if you get the bundle you're getting an even bigger saving so i highly recommend if you are thinking of getting any polytope studio stuff then look at the bundle because normally 129 dollars 50 cents it's down 50 percent off at 64.75 odd little numbers here to entice you even more and what you get in this pack you get the soldiers weapons tools props modular armors uh, and the modular peasants and citizens the total price of all the packs in this bundle is normally 185 dollars they say so that price there 185 dollars has gone down to 64 dollars in this cell so that's a massive saving here we are in the demo scene it's the diorama demo scene of the medieval soldiers from polytype studios love the fact that it's not an overly complicated demo scene it's just a nice simple demo scene with a bloke getting shot in the back with some arrows showing you exactly what you get and if we pop over to some of these other demo scenes like if i go to the characters demo you can see a couple of characters laid out looking very interesting and if we just make these a little bit bigger so we can see over here and i go and click on this lovely female soldier here we get a little script called pt create prefab lovely little script on there and i can just switch through the different things that we're getting in here so let's give her a different helmet a different upper and a different lower i've got here a little script that we can change the colors and the settings on the material as well it's really really nicely done it really is and on the male soldier we go over here and i can do the same kind of thing so i can mix and match what kind of person i want obviously obviously i'm going to click put this inside of muck and see what i can do with these these models but look we've got create a prefab randomize here preview can here we oh and then duplicate the model as well if we want to lovely little script it's really nice little script we've got in here really is nice if i pop over to the environments you get some environment pieces as well not a load but enough isn't it it's enough to throw together a little demo it's a nice little extra gift i think see these environment pieces to be honest it's not really what you're buying the bag for the environment pieces nice little gift and the weapons as well oh a load of missing prefabs oh i better flag that one up if we go into the medieval characters folder though going to the prefabs folder we can see uh these are old ones are going to be deleted they've been brought in from other packs if i go to mod modular armors modular armors let's go into a new scene built in basic and I'm going to drag in the male over here and if we go over and look at him it's like joey in that episode of friends isn't it where he's wearing everything he's wearing everything that you could possibly think of and here they are so i've seen some people what they do is they've got them always enabled and then they just disable the skin mesh renderer uh, other people disable the whole thing so it's up to you really what you're doing uh, as I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this inside my muck and see what I can do with that. But a lot, I do like these models. I really do. It's a, it's a nice collection. You get the separate parts. If I go over here, bomb, bomb, bomb. You get the separate parts all laid out if you want them. So we can chuck these boots in. Yeah, 
noticing we we don't have any LODs on these. Um, but if I open this up, uh, let's say we go to the mesh, and have a look at the mesh of these. We're looking at 1,660 verts, so 1,000 tries for the boots. Uh, let's have a look at the legs. These are 2,500. If I look at the helmet here, 1,000. So the, the poly count is is low. I mean, it's you know obviously when you all it'll all add up once you've got a person in all these different parts. So you're probably looking at about you know six to eight k at least, if not a bit more per person. I would personally throw in one of those auto loading tools. You know, like the ones we picked up in the sale. I would, I would throw something like that in there um, and if we go over to the sets you can see it's got some ready-made sets out there which if you want to just quick oh, she's got no head she's got no head if you want to quickly throw some in all right so what you do is you throw these in these are the sets of clothing uh, and then you mix and match you put your heads on the different heads and things that you want I think if you want these sets of clothing already done but a lot of the fun's in building them yourself isn't it with the modular pieces i think that's the fun is building them yourself and i love this bundle pack that you get everything in these bundle pack i would like to be able to know which bits exactly are or which that would be cool but um you know other than that i love these little material that he's got here so with his custom shader that you can set the skin color and the eyes color and the smoothness and all that stuff really nice i know some people don't like all these custom shaders because it makes it a little bit difficult but don't worry because he gives you the urp version and even an lwip one lightweight window pipeline one for if you're using 2018 so that's nice i don't have to worry don't know i don't know hdrp but uh, easy enough to convert to hdrp as well if you've got them yourself if i go over to the modular npcs uh, let's go into the prefabs actually rather than the sources now we've got here different citizens now, if i again if i chuck them in you see that you know oh it looks a bit weird that's because everything's enabled everything's enabled on that right we go into the open it up look in the sets bye lady bye peasant boy peasant really okay all right um, I'm not going to throw in the, the small naked child uh, in terms of service and whatnot. So here's a, here's a small small child. Here's add, uh, a big boy. There's a small child and a big boy. So people, a lot of people were saying they want to have children. There's not enough children packs out there. Well, we've got a load of, we've got not only boy, you know, well, we're going to say, let's call them big children. We've got little toddlers as well. Um, I don't, again, I don't want to be throwing in um, scantily clad ones. Uh, and here we go. It's another child. And as we go a little bit bigger here, we got a. It's mummy. There's mummy. Two point four children. There he is. Uh, and there's a bloke here. So I love. We got a good collection here. Ready made ones. But again, if we go into the parts, you can mix and match your own people. You can mix and match not as many components as you would have seen, like, you know, with the other armor and things, but it's, it's nice. I like this. I like it a lot. If I go over here, we've got the separate soldier parts as well. So here's the separate soldier parts that we saw when we were putting together that, that woman, that, that man. Uh, here's, here's the sets. Now, I'm not sure. Can we, with this man, throw on uh, a helmet on him? We can. We can. Can we chop his head off so that if only he's only got that? Let's have a look. Is he is he all fully? How is he done? So here's all, here's all the the bones. Where's oh no, this is the helmet. I was gonna say this is this is the 
Here we go. Here's his head. Here we go. So now we can turn his head off, and he's got the he's got this on him. Oh, that's I like that. <laughs> this peasant's found himself a lovely helmet. Can I put the the face part of the helmet up? No, I can't. Okay, that would have been cool if it was like fully modular. Uh, we can also add some kind of like a uh, third party tool to animate and put some life into these feathers as well. That's what I would do. Um, so if I get rid of this helmet and I've got to reset the position of this because I was a numpty, put it in the wrong place. Yeah, I mean, he looks pretty nails, doesn't he? Yeah, peasant with a with a helmet on. Although, is it all hollow inside? I think it might well be. So that's a little bit scary. If we stick his head back in, he's, he's picky. his head's breaking through. That would give you nightmares a bit as well. You could shrink that down, actually. I wonder. No, no, you can't. Leave it. He's, he's good. We could make him up from the modular pieces and make him small. But there we go. Get rid of his head. Get rid of his head. What else are we getting in here? We're getting weapons. Let's have a look. I would say um, one thing to note, which uh, which I w would have liked to add, uh, blend shapes on these models. So we don't have any blend shapes on them, which is a you know one one thing. I was like, oh, it'd be nice if they had blend shapes on them, or you make them fat and thinner and make the faces also uh, rig the mouth so we can move the mouth and things and you know, look things like that. I like. Um, because I'm picky, but I'm in the minority maybe, but that would have been cool to have that on there. Again, let's pop over into some of these demos. This is the diorama you get with the weapons pack. Uh, uh, these, these characters, I, just, I think they're just thrown in for the diorama, actually. But you get characters in the weapons pack as well. Uh, you get these arrows and this lovely crossbow. Let's have a look at that crossbow, actually. Let's have a look at that crossbow. And have a look to see is it has it got movable parts? Crossbow. Let's have a look. And if I go on the crossbow two, you see here we've got an animation here. And if I go up here and click play, you'll see that it actually does animate. Yes, he animates. Isn't it lovely? And actually, if we go and grab um, some of the other ones, so there's another crossbow um crossbow two and that's crossbow two crossbow one see this here is the other style of crossbow and the animations for the other one for some reason have been put into this folder there they are if i if i just lock this in place somebody tell me a better way of doing this because uh there's got to be a better way of doing it i drag in my preview here and now click play see oh this other crossbow which doesn't have the mechanical parts. The traditional older type of crossbow. Brilliant. And we go over to a bow. You can see a bow. Here's a bow. Lovely looking little thing. And if we find the bow animations, bow four animations. Here we go. Bow four. And let's just lock that again. If you can know if you tell me a better way of doing this, please. Bow four. Drag it in and let's click play. There you go. Boing, boing, boing. So all the bows are animated, crossbows are animated. That's lovely. Really like that. Well done. But a more interesting demo scene of this one. If we go into the demos and go to the weapon, do not save. Here we go. Now we can see everything laid out nicely uh, on the floor and you know what we need? We need the full screen editor. And here we go, stuck it in. Do you know what I learned today? Shall I tell you what I learned today? Mel Brooks' son, Max Brooks, wrote World War Z, the book World War Z. I did not know that. I did not know that. Fair play. Here are some lovely weapons we're getting in this pack. Low poly weapons and shields. Can never have too many shields. You can never have too many low poly weapons in low poly shields. 
So this is part of the bundle. You can get these separately, this pack separately, if you just want shields and weapons. But if you want to get the whole lot, nice little collection of bows. Now I've clicked play, and I'm using the full screen editor so I can fly about when I've clicked play. And you can see here that all of the bows and crossbows are dancing. So now we can actually appreciate the dancing bows and crossbows. Here we go. Dance for me. Dance, you beauties. Different styles here. Like you can see these. I uh, don't know why. Don't know why they've sunk into the ground as soon as we've clicked them. They've missed. They've got the wrong type of animations on them. For the different rigs. Not got their avatar set correctly. Um, here we go. Dance, dance. Lovely. I love these bows. I really do. I think these are. Lovely bows. I love the crossbows, the different styles of crossbows. You've got this kind of like Warcrafty, cartoony fantasy style here. More traditionals over here. The old school original ones there with a little. So he's even got the latch there to go on. Nice, very nice. We've got pikes and, sp and spikes and pole arms, axes and. Oh, that would, that would cause a that would cause a pain, wouldn't it? Your eyes will water with that one. Nice collection of different swords here as well. Now, are these modular? Now, the swords aren't modular in that you can change the the, the physical meshes and the different parts. Like I can't mix and match here uh, the attributes of this sword or that mace or anything. That but if I go over to the material. What I can do is I can change the colors, I can change the properties on the material, uh, and, and that's nice. I can change even the colors of the gemstones and feathers, and even the coat of arms on there. So that's how we can change these shields, have a different coat of arms on, on them, on the printed ones. It's obviously not really going to work the same as this one, which has got a 3D mesh. For its, for its insignia. And this one here, yeah, you can change this using the shader, the material settings here. Lovely, nice. Nice touch there, I like that. Not as much, I mean, I would have thought we could have mixed and matched the actual weapons, um, the physical shape of them, but at least we've got this wonderful, I like this script here. This is good. There's a massive collection here. Of weapons laid out. Well, word of warning: full screen editor does seem to crash Unity a lot. It and I've used different versions of Unity, and, and it likes crashing them. It is a nice collection of weapons. I have to say, it's a big collection of weapons. Big collection of different swords, big swords, broad swords, little swords, little one-handed axes, two-handed axes. A big collection of pole arms and staffs and spears, maces. Yeah, it's a it's a lovely collection of weapons. I really do like it. I like your collection of weapons and shields. I do. I, and again, that's available by itself. Oh, here we go. What have I done? I think I've broken it again. Nope, it's going to try and run us soon. So I've. Here we go. Let's get out of that. Uh, it's available by itself if you want to just get this one now. Tools and props. Let's have a look. Display all. And let's go with build. So here we go. These are all the and this is the tools and props part of the bundle. Again, you can get this pack just by itself. So is this one piece? Does it open? Looks like it's just one piece. Doesn't open, which is a shame. What about this? Oh no, this is made up of smaller pieces. Yay, handles. Okay, brilliant. That will, that will move. That can that can be used. Brilliant. Uh, we've got here our weapons rack. Oh, a scarecrow. A scarecrow. Although he's attached to the pole. Okay. We've got our wheelbarrows with wheels. Lovely separated good 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 lovely collection here of wheelbarrows let's go back into the bigs let's see if it, if it crashes us again different ones here 
Put the kids in that one. Our kids here with some liquid in low poly liquid broken ones. So yeah, got a lot of nice little low poly tools and objects. Let's have a look. Has that one got a lid to it? These chests do. So upper. You, oops, here we go. So yeah, brilliant. Okay, so the chests have got pieces up top, some bombs to them. These are the baskets that you would carry. Some. What are these? The bees, beehives, possibly. Troughs here. Firewood. Collection of firewoods and different woods. Wheels, spokes, all oh, broken ones and fully made ones. Lovely. Ladders. Lots of tools. Lots of tools and objects here. That's nice. Bags of different miscellaneous thing. Good, good, good. We always love bags of miscellaneous, don't we? Is this a fishing rod? Oh. Let's have a look at this fishing rod. Here is the fishing rod, and here is the fishing rod rig. So it's rigged. Lovely. You've got a rigged fishing rod. So that's nice. And we've got our scissors and bottles and things. And is that all one piece? Is that pot? The pots are all one piece. But here's a here's a separate pot, and here's an all one piece pot. So you can do it yourself if you want. And here's broken ones. And here's Arnold with some food stewing in it. And different jugs and mugs. Different baskets, different st stages of um, wear and tear as well. Lovely. Oh, yeah. See, this is nice. This is nice. Different tools over here. This is a good collection of medieval or survival low poly tools and weapons as i say you can use these they don't need to be with poly type students you can buy this by themselves and get and put them with sinties or whoever's doesn't matter because they're all nice low poly models i like this that's that is that's a nice surprise so uh weapons pack i really like the tools and props pack i really like and they're interchangeable with any type of low poly system the soldiers uh, i liked a lot the armors Really, I thought those armors. Let's have a look at the at the at the diorama of the armor. Oh, what's going on in here? Let's click play. Let's click play. What's going on? Here he is. Hello. We didn't go full screen though, did we? There he is. Peekaboo! I'm carrying my very shiny helmet. He's looking a bit surprised. Well, for models, but we can't customize the expressions. He's looking a bit surprised at me. Um, and if we go in and have a look at him, hello, how are you doing? You having a nice time? Turn off all these silly gizmos on the floor. It's save because it crashed before. Save project. There we go. My settings are saved now. Nice little diorama scene. I like this. Let's pop over into the, the modular. So here are again uh wearing everything it's joey from friends and here's one that's here's one i made for you earlier so the sets again you could go into these sets grab the sets of them not here obviously but over here into prefabs armors sets we could grab a set of armor ready made and then just show a face in it if we wanted well we go, go grab a head from somewhere and shove it inside here um, or you can sit and make your own mix and match armors as well, which I think is very nice. So, and here's here's that particular helmet. There it is. So, if we we're looking at this helmet uh, and open it up here, this is two thousand verts, one thousand three hundred tries for this helmet. And say so like it's not. They're not crazy low in the numbers, but they're not crazy high. They're low enough that we can still call them low poly and not just polygonal. Interesting we don't have lots on them. So things I would like 
We can do it ourselves. Same as Cinti doesn't have lines on. Um, we can things I would have liked though: blend shapes on them, uh, rigged faces, or something, so we can at least um, move the mouths or have some expressions or do something. So that would have been great. Oh, I really do like this pack. It's lovely. I really, I, I love, I, I love this script here, and I can just now go. Uh, you stop that. Stop being silly. Stop it. Stop it. How do I stop him randomize? Here we go. Are you going to stop or are you just going to keep on randomizing now that I've selected you? Uh, it's on a mission. It's on a mission. How do I tell you how preview is turned off? It's, he's not listening to me. I have to say, really isn't listening to me. He's just constantly going through them. So, uh, toggle the cape on and off. Toggle the helmet on and off. We can change the different capes, change the gauntlets ourselves, change the legs for lucky, because this one's you know going a bit nuts. Is there a I don't know why it's going crazy? Because like people use green, it keeps on turning itself back onto green. Something's happening. Something I haven't worked out with that script, and we can change his hair and his head different heads you've got on there different beards you can have on there different helmets we can have on there different bodies too really i love it i really do i really do i like the style I like that it gives us something else to play about with i like the fact that it gives us something else to worry about here he comes come on dance for me dance for me keep on changing as we're talking there's only a, there's only a couple of things that you know I can find to grumble about. Um, lack of blend shapes, lack of expressions, and, the, and being able to move the mouths around. Um, that weird issue we saw with one of the demo scenes for missing prefabs. But other than that, lovely models, lovely armor, not too high poly, not. Not really low, low, low numbers, but high enough that we still got good quality on them. I'd have to throw in uh, my own loading tool if I wanted to do get them down. You know, for NPCs that you're far away from, put some LODs on them because I don't need to see all that. Other than that, the materials, that, that custom shade is really nice. Yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. I was actually, wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did, I have to say. I got gifted this pack. Uh, and uh, before that, I'd grab some of the free ones from Polytype. Thank you for the gift. Um, I, I provided my feedback to Polytype as well. It's like, oh, I don't, why, why can't I move them? Why can't I have them talk to each other? Why can't, why can't I um, move their mouths? Um, so yeah, I, I provided my feedback. Hopefully, yeah, for me, hopefully it might take that on board. There's, uh, I found some issues in in that some of the old models are still in there with the old shaders. So he's going to fix those in there. But other than that, I really, I really do like looking at something. Maybe because I mean, I love the Cinti Studio. Don't don't get me wrong, I love the Cinti stuff. You know I do. But sometimes it's nice to have a nose, isn't it? It's nice to have a bit more features on a face. Um, so we've got some. We've actually got a proper face here, male and female. We've got children. We've got babies. A really good collection of different models. And if you're going to get these one by one, it's 185 dollars. Getting it. In the current sale, is it's just under sixty-four dollars something, so it's just under sixty-five. And if you were going to get it out of the sale, it would cost you um, just over one hundred and twenty-nine something, I think, isn't it? So there we go. Get it while you can on sale because you're saving one hundred and twenty dollars from the main price. So if you like these videos, you want to see more, click on that big juicy red subscribe button down below. To all of your friends, random people in the street, basically, really, it needs to make some more low poly stuff. So if you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Till next time.